Family, good morning. It's Wednesday morning and it's such a privilege for me to share the word with you again this morning. Um, I really enjoyed Pastor uh, Thomas's uh, sermon on Sunday and I would like to build on that. Um, you'll remember on Monday I spoke about trust, that we fully trust God and uh, that he gives us a perfect peace and uh, strength. So this morning, um, I want to make a statement. Trust God for your provision. He is your only hope. You see, in the last four to five months, um, many people lost their jobs. They lost income, part of the income, or all the income, or one of the bre uh, breadwinner's income. Um, businesses were closed. And some people are facing legal action um, for debt that they cannot service. So it's difficult times. And uh, one could easily become uh, hopeless in this situation and have no prospect uh, for the future. Now, I want to say that uh, this, this should not be true for a child of God. And I'm not saying that uh, we don't go through the same situations. Yes. There, there are many of us that lost income and, and uh, all the things that I've mentioned. But what, I'm, what I meant to say is that um, we shouldn't become hopeless. Um, and there are two reasons uh, that I say this. The first one is that um, if you're a child of God, you are part of um, the body of Christ. And you belong to the family of God. And family love each other, they care for each other. I'm not aware of anybody in the MCC house that uh, had lack or needed assistance and uh, that we have not taken care of them. Um, if that's the case, well, then the body failed. But I'm certain as I sit here that uh, every person that needed help, um, we were able to help through the cells, um, we, we heard where there was a lack, and uh, we were fortunate that we could help and assist people. So I want to encourage you at this stage, as Pastor Thomas also said on Sunday, if there's a situation, please talk to your cell shepherd, talk to your group shepherd, um, talk to your zone pastor, um, so, that we can, so that we can help. Don't let pride come in the way. Don't let the devil come and steal your joy. Um, it's totally unnecessary. Um, that's why we're there. We have to assist each other. And we, we know Psalm 23. We declare through Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. What does that mean? What does I shall not want, that want, what does it mean? It means fail or to lack. You see, declaring this, I put my faith in action to trust wholeheartedly on God for my provision. So as we've discussed on Monday, God is the one that I'm trusting. The second reason for you not to become hopeless is that God is trustworthy. He's not a man that he should lie. Um, if you go read uh, Numbers 23, 19. The word says in Philippians 4, 19, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ. And this is exactly what God will do. You know, reading through the Old Testament, I believe that the Israelites did not deserve God's continued forgiveness and provision. You know, they left God every other month to run after um, some statue or a ball pole, um, but God was faithful. He never left them, and he never forsook them. So he, he helped them every time they asked for his help, every time they, they um, went back to God and pleaded for forgiveness. He helped them. In Matthew 6, 26, the word says, um, Behold the birds of the air, 
for they sow not, nor do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more, says the word? Of course we are. Therefore we know that God will provide um, for your needs. You know, I want to, to encourage you, don't look at your situation. You know, don't look at your ability. God uses that, but he's not limited to that. God works in mysterious ways. He works supernaturally. In 2 Kings, there was a widow, you, you may remember the story, um, she approached Elijah um, because the creditors claimed from her her two sons for debt that her late husband left. And Elijah said to her, or asked her, what do you have? And she said, I just have a little bit of oil. And he said, go, collect all the empty vessels that you can collect and pour the oil. And she started pouring the oil and she filled all the empty vessels. So supernaturally, God provided for her. I want to leave you with a, a verse, Romans 15, 13. It says, and may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So family, doesn't matter what the situation is. If there's a need, God will provide. Trust in him. Don't trust in your own ability. Speak to your family. That's why we're here. We're here to pray for each other. We're here to help each other. We're here to, to, to provide where we can provide. So I want to do a prayer with you. Um, so let's pray together. Father God, thank you that we can come to you this morning, Lord. Lord, every brother and sister that has a need, Father God, every situation they may have, Father, the situation they find themselves in, Father God, where they may have lost um, work, or had to close a business, Father God, has lost the income, Father God. I pray this morning, Father God, that they will trust in you, Father God, that we will come to your throne of grace, Father God, and know and understand and believe, Father, that you will provide, Father God, supernaturally, if that is required, Father God. I pray today, Father God, that um, every person, Every person, Father God, that has a need, every person this morning that feels hopeless and feels that there is no future, Father God, that you will come, Lord, and that you will give them hope, Father God, that you will come and touch them, Father God, and give them the, the strength and faith, Father God, to know that you will not forsake them and you will not leave them, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for your love. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray this. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I want to bless you on this Wednesday. Um, and I want to leave you with a greeting of Paul, the letters that he wrote to the various uh, congregations or churches, and also to Timothy. He would normally greet them with grace, mercy, and peace to you. From God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. And maybe we'll have a chat about that on Friday morning's uh, devotion. Uh, have a blessed day. Amen.